On one of my earlier videos, I made the comment that if I had to take, or I could only take one perfume to a deserted island, it would be ex masculine. I'm holding true to that. With the exception, I'm now bringing ex feminine. We're gonna have a party, all three of us. So I know, it sounds ridiculous. Why would you, why would you even consider taking perfume to a desert island? But that gives you an idea. I still would do it though. Well, that gives you an idea why, um, or how much I love the, the Clive Christian range. I have a few of their fragrances. They're exceptional perfumes. So Clive Christian, for those who may not know, it was or is an interior designer, interior uh, decorator, and primarily focuses on kitchens. Now, he bought himself a manor house in Cheshire in England, and he came across this beautiful green bottle and then started, basically started, the journey to find out what was this particular product, where did it come from, and, and the history behind it, which then eventually led to this moment of him releasing the, the, the Clive Christian range. One of the key things here is that he did this in 1999. Now, right now, niche perfumery is at, um, at a pretty stable, well, it's, at, it's, at a, it's in a really good place. There's a lot of um, houses that are coming out. There's a lot more, um, um, talk about niche perfumery and we have a better understanding. But back in 1999, it was really dominated by those designer houses, Christian Dior, um, Chanel, it still is. I mean, those guys are still big players, don't get me wrong. Uh, but at that stage, that was really who dominated the market. And all of a sudden he comes out, Clive Christian has the audacity to come out with fragrances that are maybe two to three times more expensive than what was out on the market. And one of the things he said early on, because a lot of people are like, you're crazy. I mean, he has one fragrance called Number One, which is about $900, Aussie dollars, $900. So it's not a cheap perfume. But anyway, he came out at that time and he asked the question, where is real perfumery? Through his investigation, when he came across that green bottle, he sort of went into the history of perfumery and he wanted to ask the question, can we come back to this? I think one thing that happened during the industrial revolution is obviously it created efficiencies and a lot of things in the way we do, uh, in the way we do things. However, um, it also created some shortcuts that probably not the best. One of those shortcuts is that in perfume, and this is the way it was done for centuries, that to, a, to actually grab that particular fragrance, you had to extract it from that plant or what, wherever it was that you wanted to extract it from. So let's take jasmine as a perfect example. Jasmine, for it to have its most potency when it comes to the fragrance, needs to be picked in the morning. So before the bud actually opens up, it does need to be picked by hand because if you bruise that flower, it then uh, won't give you the, 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 the potency of the actual fragrance. And then you got to pick, well, bags and bags. I know that for rose, for instance, you need 250,000 rose petals to create five mil of rose absolute. Forget about it. I mean, that is, whereas you could go to a lab and you can create a synthetic note that represents jasmine or rose um, for next to, well, not even at that price and not at that level. And so this is where Clive Christian came in and said, where is real perfumery? Can we go back to those, those ways again? And the answer is yes, because we have these gorgeous fragrances. Now, ladies, I actually have, so feminine is mine. I actually bought it for me. My wife does use it, don't get me wrong, but I've had um, masculine for quite some time, but feminine I bought for me, and I'll tell you why in just a second, but first, this. It is a female fragrance, hence why it's feminine. Now, actually, here's a question. If all fragrances are unisex, so why do I have a masculine? Why do I have a feminine? I'll go into that in just a second. But first, this fragrance. So this, this perfume here starts off, it's a wonderfully fruity shipper. So it starts off with a wonderful fruity accord. Orange, bergamot, pineapple, rhubarb, and a peach. And it's the peach that I'm gonna come back to. That peach, is spectacular on the opening and it keeps moving through the fragrance. Then in the heart, it goes to Lily of the Valley, Jasmine, Rose, and Iris. And finally in the base, it goes to, I guess, our usual suspects of cedarwood, patchouli, vetiver, musk. It has labdomen in there also and vanilla. So it is a female fragrance. Boys, if you like a softer fragrance on your skin, this is a really good one. It, it is designed as a woman's fragrance. 
I don't wear it on its own. So for me, it is a little bit, that's okay. So, so the peach stays through this fragrance all the way. Uh, it plays, in my opinion, with that jasmine. The peach and the jasmine actually interplay. At the start, I'm getting the pineapple and the peach. It's a really big pop at the start. Um, then as it, as it dries down, it does become a bit softer, especially with those flowers in the heart. But this is what I do, and this is why I bought it. So as I mentioned, I, I love X Masculine. It is one divine fragrance as a man, as a male fragrance, spectacular. I love the spicy notes in here. So I blend them. And that's why I bought Feminine. So yes, it, can, it stands alone as its own fragrance. As I mentioned, oh man, I can smell X Masculine. For me, it, so masculine is a cinnamon, um, ambery. It's um, uh, it has a masculine tendency to it, but with the, the but with feminine on top, the feminine fragrance there, the, the two of them blend together. It's spectacular. One of the one of the catch cries that the Clive Christian um, people say is that individually exquisite. Together, extraordinary. And I am gonna, nah, maybe it's a marketing, some dude was writing this, oh, what can I say? For me, that is, it nails it perfectly because that's what it is. As I put these two together, I'm creating a whole, oh man, it's so spectacular. Okay, the way that I normally do it, so I did it in reverse. Normally, I'll put the heavier fragrance first, so masculine will go on first, and then feminine goes over the top. And then the two of them, as they dry down and as they blend together, I'm still getting those peachy notes. So right now the peach has come off a little bit only because I put masculine on top. So I'm going to be a bit naughty and I'm going to put, so I get that peach note. Ah, love it. Anyway, um, so the business end on this particular fragrance, um, they are, so Clive Christian boasts that he has 20% oil. So you're going to find, what does that mean? that the fragrance has awesome longevity. I'll go one further. I wear this fragrance, so I'll put it in in the morning and I'll blend the two together. And the way, my, my ratio, is I put two masculine on my chest and then put one feminine over the top and then another feminine on my arm. So I do I do, do four sprays, but that fragrance will now last me till the next day. And I'm not exaggerating, because then in the next morning, when I take off my, uh, my my pajamas to jump in the shower, yada yada. Um, as I, I'm getting that burst of fragrance from these particular guys or these these two fragrances here. Um, when it comes to the uh, sillage on the actual fragrance, again spectacular. I'm getting it has a wonderful trail. Uh, it does radiate beautifully. Again, recently because I'm forever wearing fragrance. I was in another meeting uh, chatting and the, the gentleman that was with me, he's like, the fragrance you're wearing today is really special. What is it? He started inquiring. He's like, I'm smelling this, but then I'm smelling that. And then really the two together, they create their own, they create their own little chemistry and then your own body chemistry creates something else. My love, I love it. Spectacular. The two of them, I look individually, I love them together. I don't know, can we go any higher? I don't know, but I love both these fragrances. My wife, she is not a fan of X. She finds it a little bit too spicy, but she loves, uh, she loves feminine. So she, does, sorry, when I say X, so X masculine, she finds it a bit too spicy, a little bit too heavy. Whereas feminine is very light. It is a feminine fragrance. She does wear it, she does enjoy it. But when I put the two together, she does appreciate, she actually enjoys, it's the peach in it and, the, and, the, and that white flower, the jasmine, that actually softens the whole fragrance down. And as I mentioned, when it comes to others, I'm getting a lot of positive response. When it comes to price, they are not a cheap fragrance. However, they're a very long lasting fragrance. So yeah, yes, you're gonna pay a little bit more, but you're getting a good quality product. Um, it's something that's pretty spectacular. So if you like the sound of the X's, masculine or feminine, you can buy through Libertine Parfumery. They are a sponsor of Niche Fragrance Collector. You can get 10% off. The code is NFC10. Just you can do that off their website. As I was saying that before, I'm getting the fragrance again. Spectacular. I would encourage if, you, if you're able to, go in and try the two together. Guys or girls, I think this is an absolute winning combination. Thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. Look forward to your comments on this particular video. If you've got any recommendations or any other uh, layering that you love doing, let me know. Thanks everyone. We'll see you on the next video.